hello guys welcome to another video of microsoft azure in today's video we are going to discuss about how we can increase the code as for a particular resource type in azure okay so suppose your quota in a subscription is full for your virtual machine for a specific type of virtual machine course then if you want to create a new virtual machine for that uh, resource type of course you won't be able to create because uh, your quota is full in that particular region for that subscription so you will have to increase your quota then only then only you can again create the resource okay so we'll see that how we can increase the quota in azure so if you open azure portal and search for quotas we'll get a service with this name you'll have to open it if you come here in overview you will see all the resource types you are getting for which you can increase the quota so suppose if you are uh, doing it for virtual machines you can select the compute if you are doing some is for some database or database servers you can do that you can select storage and other things like we have azure container instance devops azure container apps we have all the things available here okay you can select based on that if you have already raised some request it will show here if there is no request then nothing will be shown here from you can see all the like my quotas and all and even you can set a lot of rules as well for your quota if some quota is full then it will create an alert and based on that you can act on that either you can increase the quota or you can clean up some resources to make quota available so here you can see the fired alerts but the at the moment this is in preview so i won't recommend recommend you to create the alert rules in production okay so let's now go to overview if we come here we'll get we'll get the compute here or all the resource type so let's select the compute and now you will see all your quotas related to compute here in this tab okay so let it load you can also open this quotas inside uh, first going into the subscription and searching for quota plus usage usage plus quota okay even that will take you to this same uh, screen let me open that in new tab until this is loading okay open it so let me open one of my subscriptions and there we can check that there seems some issue this is my one of the subscription if you scroll down here in the settings you have one option usage plus quotas even here you will see all the usage and available quota for your subscription and from here also you can increase the quota for that you will have to raise the quota request you will have to create a new quota request and from there if you select the limit then azure will review that request and within few minutes it will increase the quota okay if they have quota available they will increase if they don't have then of course they will decrease or if there is any issue increasing then you can raise a microsoft azure support request for that okay so here we are not getting that option probably i don't have the permissions so let me open the subscriptions here as well so if i again open this usage plus quotas yes there seems some network issue at my side let me open that again So 
so go to UJS plus quota is here and here it will load all of your quota so you can select the provider here as well so suppose I have the provider selected as compute at the moment you can select all the providers like how what you are getting there in the quotas tab in another tab okay here if you select azure container apps you will get all the usage details for, for your azure container apps quota okay so let it be the default that is compute one okay here you will see all the quotas like how many are being used so suppose this is your availability sets okay for this region australia central region and this subscription current usage is 0% and 0 of 2500 is being used so you will see all the usage details here for all the resource type basically okay and here as well you can see if this is adjustable or not if this is not adjustable then you cannot create a new uh, quota request you will have to create a support request from here you can create a support request okay if something is adjustable then you can directly create a new quota request and adjust it okay so suppose I have so many things here all are zero percent so suppose I want to increase something so suppose I am I want to increase this okay standard dcsv2 family cpu so that i can create more than currently the limit is 8 so i cannot create more than 8 so if i have to create more than 8 i will have to increase it so at the moment it's 8 let me select it either you can do the uh, do it by clicking here as well but uh, directly we can go and click on new quota request and we will select enter a new limit ok here you will have to select the new limit usage is this so suppose you want to keep it 10 ok let me keep the 10 limit and submit it ok so once you have submitted the request it will take few minutes to increase the quota so internally Microsoft will Azure will review this request and if this has to be increased they will increase okay so suppose in some cases they don't have the CPU available or this quota available which you are requesting then it won't it will fail and it won't create the quota okay or it won't increase the quota generally it takes 5 minutes I done 5 to 10 minutes in that period it will review and update ok if in most of the cases it will be successful in some rare cases this will be failed ok once this is successful a message will come here like your request has been successful and the new quota details as well okay so this is how we can create the quota request to azure and increase our quota for all the resource types okay resource providers basically if you are doing it for compute you can increase uh, all the quota names rel related to compute if you are doing it for storage you can increase the quota for storage as well okay it is still reviewing the request and it's in progress generally it takes some time so see this has failed okay and it is asking me to create the support request so suppose something is failed or you have 
added some wrong details here in the new limit then it will fail okay see this time it is has failed so probably we will have to specify new limit other than 10 maybe 16 or something like that then only it will increase okay so i just have shown you how you can increase it or how you can adjust your quota okay that's it from this video we'll meet in another video with some another topic if you liked this video please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching the video